welcome me if you want to back up the iPhone to iCloud. Let's start by opening up the settings. And from here, you should see your name at the very top. So let's tap on our name. And then we're going to see iCloud. And we're going to tap on this one. And from here, you're going to scroll down and locate the iCloud backup. Uh, make sure backup is on. Optionally, turn on backup over mobile data. And then select the backup now. So just to be clear here, backup with iCloud is going to backup all of the apps installed on your iPhone, but not the physical app files. So if you restore backup, it will tell the iPhone to download and then all of the apps you have. It won't actually store the app outright. It will store any app data, but you may need to re-sign in to some of your accounts if the app has security checks. It will restore your wallpaper, have that one backed up, your home screen layout, a lot of the stuff that you would expect it will back up, but what it will not back up is your photos, and I'll explain why and how to do that. It won't back up your iMessages, it won't back up most of the Apple services. You will need to go out of here, and you see here, iCloud Photo, iCloud Mail, you need to turn this stuff on and make sure that sync is enabled. And so if we go out of here, show all, you just do the same for all of these other Apple services if you want them backed up. How it works is when you restore your iCloud backup, you will restore your wallpaper, your home screen layout, your Apple Pay, all that stuff. And then it will re-download your iCloud photos separately so these photos, which were backed up to iCloud Photos, will start restoring at the same time. The same applies to your messages and you know other stuff you have backed up into the iCloud. You just need to make sure that you have enough storage. You can see I'm running out. And if you are running out, we tap on Manage Storage here. We can go through, tap on this stuff and remove photos, remove data to free up storage, or you can upgrade to iCloud Plus. So let's upgrade here, and this will just give you more storage, but just keep in mind this is a monthly subscription. You can see the monthly prices right here, and so you will need to upgrade, and then you'll have extra storage where you can back up your files. I do personally pay for the two terabyte subscription. Let's have a look at how much storage I use. And you can see I use a whopping 1.4 terabytes. Now, just keep in mind that if you wanted to be smart, like I am not, you know, once a year or so, you would move your photos from your iPhone and just store it on like an external hard drive or an external SSD. I just keep everything in the iCloud, so I have all my photos and all my devices at any time. And um, you can see the other stuff hasn't really been used that much, but if you choose a storage and it's too much, you can always select change the plan. And then it's gonna load here. And you have the downgrade options if you need to downgrade. And of course you can cancel the subscription at any time, but your consent will be unavailable if it reaches the limit you downgrade to. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.